Hey everyone, what's up? So, Gazi Kozo. Do you all remember that name at all? Ring any bells? You know, uh, Black Hitler. Uh, you know, all white people owe me reparations. Uh, you know, all that jazz. Yeah, so recently uh, he was found. Well, first of all, this this happened. I got the I've got an article pulled up here, but Gazi Kozo was found at a house of his. Uh, apparently, he has moved on from uh, you know making outwardly you know extremist content on YouTube. He still makes that, but uh, he has formed this group called the Black Hammer, which is a group that emphasizes uh, communism. You know, because the hammer and sickle. Um, except it's black communism. It's exclusively black communism. I don't know what the difference between black communism and regular communism would be, but whatever. No one said it makes sense. Um, but apparently, he's been running like it. From what it, from what I've read, it almost sounds like a like a like a compound or something. Um, and it sounds like he's started his own cult, which isn't surprising, you know, given that it's Gazi Kozo and how extreme he is. Um, you know, he would be the exact type of person to start something like that. Um, and just in case you're having trouble remembering who I'm talking about, um, does this video ring any bells? Compact individuals, okay? Disciples of white Jesus, okay? So let's talk to them real quick and let's see what they have to say. A who real? A who real? Do you owe reparations? Absolutely. Why you say that? Wait, who is you? Beryl Shepard. A hoodoo barrel. Mm -hmm. Now, you owe me some money. Mm -hmm. Okay, you owe me reparations. Absolutely. Why is that? Because every freedom that I have and have taken for granted for my entire life has been made possible by wealth that my ancestors stole. A hoodoo. Mm -hmm. Good. A hoodoo. A hoodoo. What your name is? Jackson. A hoodoo Jackson. You owe me reparations. I do. Why that? Because I have benefited from the wealth that was stolen from mm -hmm. you. Tell I just have all my yeah. ancestors. Okay, okay. I think you get the idea. Um, that guy. Uh, he was... I think he got kind of, like... He blew up a little bit around, like, t uh, 2015, 2016, early 2017. Like, this video was uploaded in... Let's see... Because this was the video, this was one of the videos, at least, that went viral, that people responded to. I'm trying to pull up the, uh, when it was uploaded, but it is not showing me when it, the upload date for this at the moment. Anyways, uh, not important, but that's, that's the guy, in case you didn't remember. And like I said, I've got this article pulled up, and I'll go through it a little bit here. But, um, and this is from the Daily Beast. Uh, I'm not super familiar with this, uh, website, so, I mean, if it's, you know, uh, weird then um, please correct me in the comments but um, yeah so far left activist Gazi Kozo rose to internet no uh, notoriety last year with a series of bizarre online pronouncements he made as the leader of a fringe communist group called the Black Hammer Organization um, uh, he was I think he was he was notorious far before this happened but um, now this is going to make him even more notorious because this time there's a fucking dead person involved uh, Kazo, uh, Kazo's online declarations, including the claim that Holocaust victim Anne Frank was a whiny Karen, uh, seem designed to go viral as proof of left-wing activists out of control. Um, you know, take that for what you will. But, uh, but on Tuesday, Black Hammer, dubbed a cult by some former members, culminated in tragedy. Uh, that morning, an anonymous caller in a suburban Atlanta home rented by Black Hammer contacted police to report that they were being held against their will. When police searched the home, they ordered uh, Kozo and nine other people outside. In the houses, they found 18-year-old man named Amante T. Amons dead of what police called an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. And so we got some Kurt Cobain shit going on here. Uh, now Kozo, a 36-year-old whose legal name is Augustus C. Romaine, uh, faces a bevy of criminal charges, including aggravated sodomy, two counts of conspiracy to commit a felony, two counts of false imprisonment, uh, two counts of kidnapping, two counts of aggravated assault, and two counts of criminal street gang activity, according to a press release from the Fayetteville Police Department. 
further details on the charges weren't available Wednesday from the police. Uh, another Kozo associate, a 21-year-old named Xavier Russian, was also charged with several crimes, including kidnapping, assault, and false imprisonment. Uh, Amon's death has led former members to consider the bizarre environment that Kozo, riding a wave of internet fame and crazed ambitions of revolution, uh, created in the group. I'm surprised it took this long. A former Black Hammer member who goes by the, the uh, who goes by Savvy, the Savvy, um, and worked as Kozo's aide before fleeing the group, told the Daily Beast after Amonza's death was reported. Uh, even as Amonza lay dead inside the Black Hammer house, the Kozo kept his eye on the prospect of social media fame. Uh, in a Facebook video posted as Romaine and the other Black Hammer waited outside their home and under police guard, Kozo seized on the idea that the police raid and dead body would bring more online attention to himself. Uh, more media, more followers, more, you know, advancement work. More movement, more greatness, Kozo said. So be it, sweetheart. Uh, Black Hammer began in 2019 after Kozo left another far-left black activist group. Um, yeah. Uh, Black Hammer and its aggressive anti-Semitic and anti-white rhetoric marked a strange new reinvention for Kozo, who had, years earlier, operated as an, as an aspiring YouTube personality named Smilestone. Uh, in one Smilestone video, he laughed along with two white women and debated who was the most basic. Um, uh, as Black Hammer's leader... Damn it, hang on. Uh, as Black Hammer's leader, though, Kozo adopted a tone of racial separatism. Uh, Black Hammer social media accounts earned notoriety online for their racial attacks, and Kozo jousted with right-wing figures like commentator Elijah, uh, Elijah Schaefer. Uh, in one typical YouTube confrontation, Kozo called Schaefer a shaved monkey, accused him of having a small penis, and offered him a chance to join Black Hammer as long as Schaefer, who was white, joined in a subservient role in Black Hammer's Reparation Corps, a group reserved for white members. Uh, you're not going to find any white people joining that, except for people who have a severe white guilt complex. Um, you know, you might find people like Bosch in it at some point, but, you know. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's the basic, uh, that's the basic, basic, uh, details of this case and, and whatnot. Um, I'm not surprised, like, at all. There are few people who are as openly and outwardly extreme as Ghazi Kozo, um, I mean, there are others that you could name, of course, but, I mean, Ghazi definitely stands up there as one of them. Um, and it seems like he's been forming this group called the Black Hammer. Uh, and I haven't seen a lot of videos on it. I imagine there's some out there that, would, that talked about it. But um, I know that, again, Ghazi Kozo was talked about a lot, you know, among, like, the skeptic community, and you know, back in the day. Again, back in, like, 2015, 2016, 2017. Um where a lot of them responded to the video that I played. But, yeah, it seems like he formed this... I would say it sounds like a cult, because it, it does kind of... It, it, it gives me almost... I mean, this could go with any cult that you could name throughout history, but I mean, like, this, it, it almost gives me sort of kind of a Manson vibe where he keeps, like, the, the family members on, on the ranch, and it seems like uh, Kozo is keeping his uh, members in a house or a compound or something. Uh, and it sounds like one of them tried to escape or, you know, whatever. And it, it looks like, and I, I don't know, this is, this hasn't been confirmed, but it wouldn't surprise me if uh, Ghazi Kozo uh, killed this person in rage, uh, killed Abonte in rage, along with the uh, other associates that they named here. But uh, yeah, it, it's not it's not it's not surprising at all for anyone who know, who uh, has seen the videos and uh, you know, and I'm sure that a lot of people who watch my videos currently know who, who exactly who I'm talking about because a lot of a lot of you out there were also you know watching and uh, active in the skeptic days and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, it's it's definitely chilling, uh, you know. And it just, and it just, it goes, it kind of goes to show, like, as far, you know, because, you know, Ghazi obviously still has this YouTube channel, it's under the name Commander Ghazi, if you want to search it up, it's Commander Ghazi, not Ghazi Kotsa, but Commander Ghazi, uh, and he still is on YouTube, um, he hasn't been removed, you know, uh, 
yeah, I, and I don't want to get into the topic of tech censorship too much or anything like that. And I'm not, I'm not, you know, saying what my position is one way or the other. But, uh, you know, you have people like Richard Spencer and uh, uh, Jared Taylor and some of these others, uh, these other, uh, you know, white nationalists and, uh, you know, kind of like diet Nazis, to be really honest. I mean, I hate, I hate to throw out the term Nazi because it's just overused so much, but I mean, really when you think about it, um, especially with Richard Spencer. Um, but obviously, you know, they aren't on YouTube anymore. They're lo they've been long gone from YouTube for a while. Uh, I don't believe they're on, uh, Twitter. At least I don't, I, I don't know if Richard Spencer's on Twitter, but regardless, like, you know, they've been to platform, they've been removed from most of the mainstream, uh, media. But, um, you know, Ghazi has been, a, has been allowed to remain. And Ghazi is just as extreme as the people that I just named. I mean, if not, if not, I would dare say even more extreme. Uh, you know, he would probably make uh, he'd probably make Richard Spencer blush. Uh, but uh, I don't know. It just kind of goes to show the uh, bias, in my opinion, with uh, you know big tech and media and stuff. And I don't know if this case has been reported in like the. Uh, um, I don't know if it's been reported on yet in, like, with the mainstream news. I doubt it. Maybe it has been. This was the first article that popped up. Uh, I didn't see any, like, CNN or MSNBC articles about this, but I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. And then, uh, you know, and yeah, he's, you know, calls himself a communist. I don't know if, I don't know if he was doing that back in the day, back in the skeptic days when, you know, everyone was responding to him. Uh, I don't know if he was calling himself a communist yet, but, uh, yeah, apparently that's a thing. Um, or, uh, I guess the black hammer is black communism. Again, I don't, I don't know what the, uh, I guess it's communism, but for black people, I don't know. So you've got, you know, a, a, a person who lives in the first world who, you know, enjoys first world necessities and luxuries, uh, you know, going under, branding themselves the communist. So, uh, it's even more cringy. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Um, it's not surprising, but it's still disturbing, you know? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm honestly, cause I, I mean, I don't know what the race of the person is. It didn't say, um, I, th it, Apparently they were a member, so I'm gonna I'm gonna guess the person that was murdered was a black man. Um, I could be wrong, but I, I'm guessing that that's what it was. Because again, I think it was a it was a member who was trying to escape. But it wouldn't surprise me if like I, I'm I'm surprised that it wasn't like a white person. Honestly, um, I'm surprised that it wasn't like you know Gazi finally snapping and just like um taking out his uh hate and anger and and whatnot uh on one of the, you know one of the crackers um and killing one of them but uh yeah so that's that um yeah i mean what a piece of shit and it even said that he was uh it was gonna get him more notoriety and more followers and more uh uh, more media, more followers, uh, advancement work, more movement, more greatness. I mean, so, I mean, the guy's an absolute piece of shit. I mean, just through and through, just absolute piece of shit. You know, capitalizing on the fact that there's a dead person in his home that he could have very well been responsible for. I, I don't know. I don't know that it's been confirmed yet, but it seems that way. But it hasn't, again, it hasn't been confirmed. But, um, yeah. I mean, what just what what a piece of shit! What a massive piece of shit! I mean, before, I mean, it, it was always obvious that he was an idiotic extremist, um, you know, and a racist too. I mean, it, let's call it what it is. Let's call it spade a spade. I mean, you know, we're, we aren't, you know, we we aren't really comfortable with calling out situations where there is a black person who is racist against other races, um, specifically white people, you know, because that is a thing, uh, but we just aren't comfortable talking about that and calling it out when it's apparent, but, like, before, at the least, you know, I mean, we all knew that he was an extremist and kind of, you know, moronic, but you could at least sort of have, you could, you could pity him, 
because he was clearly stuck in his extremism and zealotry. And maybe if he had gotten some help, you know, because it wouldn't surprise me if, if Ghazi is struggling with some sort of mental illness. Uh, so maybe if he had gotten some help, he could have, like, maybe reevaluated his beliefs and uh, moderated out. But, uh, you know, he started a cult, and now there's a dead person involved in all of this. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's too late, I think, for that now. I don't think there can be any redemption at this point for Ghazi. So, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. You know, let me know what you guys think. Again, I will link the article... And I will, I'll go ahead and just link to Gazi's channel as well, while I'm at it, I, but, and I'll link to that video as well, so, anyways, that's it for this one, uh, peace, and you guys have a good day.